Hey there, little snowflakes and other various weirdos. It's me, More Than A Girl, a.k.a. Sydney. And, um, welcome to the fourth, fourth, and final part of things about theory and another kin that make me curious. Because it is no longer things I don't understand. Though, this one, this one, for the people where it's not just a preference thing, I don't understand. Okay, so this one kind of goes along with why do people name their stereotypes, but I've come across a few people, not like personally, but like in videos and in the dreaded Tumblr posts, where they talk about their stereotypes and their kin types as if they are different people. And I don't just mean like, oh, they say like, this is my wolf, so-and-so. I mean, they say things like, oh, when I get angry or scared, my wolf, so-and-so, takes over, and it's like I have no control over my own body, and she sort of deals with things for me. That doesn't sound like theory anthropy. That sounds like either demonic possession or multiple personalities. <coughs> and I, for one, know that Theory anthropy is not multiple personalities, but there are a lot of people who talk about it as if it is. And so I pose this question to whoever watches this video. I know that theory anthropy and multiple personalities or DID is not the same thing, but if there is a person with multiple personalities, and one or more of those personalities is an animal. Could that be considered theory anthropy, or would that just be someone has multiple personalities and one is an animal? Or would it only be considered theory anthropy if one of these personalities was a human who identified as an animal? Maybe then that specific personality would be a theory, even though the the um what is it, the original personality isn't? Or say like, kind of the other way around, or, or is the only way that a person with multiples is a theory and is if the original personality identifies as an animal, like is a human who identifies as an animal. Like, I don't know if anyone knows this answer or if, I know there are, there are people out there that are, you know, systems, whether traumagenic or not, and also theory or other kin. So like, if you're out there, I'm really curious, mostly about, okay, we, we obviously know that if the original personality is a human who identifies as an animal, then they're a Therian. But if you have a personality who is a human who identifies as an animal, does that make the whole system a Therian, or does it just make that person that that personality Ethereum. That's not really what the what the topic was about, but it's something I'm curious about. Um, mostly I'm curious about, well that, that is a big question, um, but also the people who aren't systems who still talk about their their uh, stereotypes or kin types as if they're some sort of woogity woogity spirit taking over their body whenever they, uh, mental shift or, you know, whenever that happens. Like, it's still you. Sure, it's a slightly more animalistic you, and maybe, you know, you forget what your hands are for, or you suddenly don't know how to write or speak or use a toilet or wash your hands or whatever. But, I mean, it's still you. It's not like you're being taken over by some dark force or some fairy spirit is jumping into your body. Right? So, uh, yeah, let's have a discussion about this. For me, personally, your stereotypes, your kin types, are not separate beings from you. If they are, then mm, maybe you have multiple personalities, maybe you're possessed, I don't, I don't know. But, the, the, for the people who are coming here 
for the answer to this question, traditionally, no. Traditionally, your kin types and stereotypes are not separate from yourself. You are them, they are you. Some people name them just because they feel like it, they want to give their their animal side a cool name, and that's fine. Some people talk about their their stereotypes as if they're different people simply to keep track of them. Like, I know since I'm like a polykin, it's easier to say like my wolf or my dragon to to differentiate between what part of me I'm talking about. And I know, I know like, blah, there's this show Wolf Blood where obviously there's the people that are kind of like werewolves, only not really. They're just people who could turn into wolves and they call their wolf They call their, they say like, oh my wolf, your wolf, Maddie's wolf, Yana's wolf, Ridian's wolf, blah, 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 even though they know it's the same person. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I don't know where I just went with this, with this video topic. So I'm going to stop now. Um. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and most importantly, stay special, little snowflakes. P.S. No, no P.S. <laughs>